Hello, this is I, Chris, and I'm here again to show you not an overclocking, but how to stress test. Now, if you've been overclocking, or if you're a pro overclocker, you know how to do this, but my guess is you aren't, and that's why you're here. So, if you want to, which is what I do, is I download Prime95, I'll put a link right there, okay? Go into Prime95, it'll take a while, it's kind of a dumb derpy thing derp herp derp a derp there we go okay make sure you say run otherwise it won't work <laughs> and you've probably seen this in other videos but uh, just do blend pretty simple and it'll start now as you can see right down here everything is almost at a hundred percent except for a couple it's stress testing and Pretty much all you're going to do is you're going to make sure it doesn't get above 89 or 80 to 90 degrees. If it gets above 90, stop it. If it gets up to 80, it's kind of your choice if you really want to keep it like that. But you just wait until this is all over. It should end in a, like at least 30 minutes to an hour. It's, it's going to take a long time, so... Just let it sit. It's right now. It's stress te testing a 2.8 gigahertz overclock, so it won't get that hot. And I'm gonna stop the video now, and I'll come back when the stress test is over. Okay, I really didn't wait for the stress test to be over. I just decided to do stop, stop all workers. But it should end for you. And if you see, it says zero errors, zero warnings. If it has completed test zero but still if it has any errors or any warnings that oh look see one error see that means that you should probably look into doing it again that there might be some thing but if it's one or two errors it's probably still stable that's a quick overview of how to stress test using prime 95 um here's a link oopsies link to subscribe and to my channel see you later